Hello and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. Um, today we are doing, well we're doing something different, slightly, well not different but what it is, I do three videos a week and they're always challenge locks. So I've decided that the three videos, at least one out of the week, is going to be a stock lock. Um, I've got I've had many requests for people asking me to do some stock locks because the beginners, they've all just started picking, they like to know what's in them and uh, feedback of how they feel and stuff so like i say so for once a week i'm going to do stock locks um i do challenge locks i love challenge locks absolutely awesome but i started this channel on stock locks and you know there's people out there who do need help with them and sometimes i, I forget because i get all wrapped up in you know doing all the challenges and stuff and and with you know challenge locks and stuff but so we're going to do a we're going to do this very nice american it's completely standard. I got this from uh, uh, Black Dolphin ninety. Patrick, absolute awesome guy. Please check out his channel. His name in the description and that. Um, but before we do, if you're interested in Locksport and you want to get involved, please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk or find us on Discord or Extraordinary Pickers. And you can find me all and some others. Oh, a lot with others on um, Lock Picking Locksport at UKLP on Facebook. And if you'd like to see my channel, you want to see some more. Hit that subscribe button, that bell icon, as I make two to three videos per week from picking locks to challenge locks to lock tutorials, all types of locks related stuff. So, yeah, we'll have a go at picking this. Let me just grab the huge amount of keys, of American lock keys that I've got, which is a lot. Um, ha, there we go, straight to it. I had to put P on it for purple. That is the bitting, and it's quite a nice bitting. And as you can see, it works absolutely spot on. Um, now, I've not picked this lock myself yet. Um, it's not, they're not key retaining. Um, and what the keyway, as I class it, is, as you can see, I call it an F keyway because it does resemble an F. And... Like I say, with these, you get some serrations, you can get spools, you can get some uh, just standard pins in them. Um, let me look at that keyway and see what we're going for. Actually, it'd be even better if I turn the lot the right way around. Um, I'm gonna use, let's see. Well, I wanna use No, I can't find my favourite tension wrench. Oh, where did I put that? Let's see if we can get this in there. That'll, this should fit. Yep, it does. Um, let's have a look at the... Uh, let's, let's try a, my Daz Evers hook. Really nice hook. Let's, uh, oh, we've got a little click straight away on five. But that could have been just the click of part of a serration. Nothing on, oh, we've got to click on three. Nothing on two, oh, we've got to click on one. I might have overset one. I think it went a lot further than I wanted it to. We'll soon find out. Yeah, let's go for a reset. Let's try it at the beginning. Oh, we've got to click on one and we've got a slight turn of the core. I'm not getting any enough. Don't know if I'm getting. Nope. So we ain't doing anything. Oh, we're getting a bit of counter off three. Just give me one second, just pause. I've got to look for this tension wrench. I found it. Oh the hell. I had to pause. It took me a good five minutes. I was bummed out nearly. This is uh, one of the very earliest ones they ever made. And 
out of all the tension wrenches I own, this is my favorite. It fits practically any lock. Right, let's try this again. Click off one. Let's, uh, let me see. Uh, where we go? Bobby Keys. Okay, here we go. Oh, got a little turn of the core again. Nope. It's like everything is not moving. Oh, got another click then. I lost a little bit of that fault set. Losing grip there. Right. Let's find number five first. Get a bit ooh, got a bit of rotation then and then a little bit of a turn of the core. Hooked up on something. Oh, got that back then. Thought I'd lost it. Got another click, oh, that was three. Look for another reset. This has definitely been tricky. So, one, just a light touch. Two. Oh, got a little another turn of the core then. Oh, and there we are. We're open. <laughs> well, I must say, that did put up a little bit of a fight. Normally, I've a. Uh, I've got through them by then, but uh, right, let's get into this lock. Let's get a pin tray. Take that one out, take the core out. Um, right. We can, we can lock it back up so we can get this clip off. Because even though they're not very strong, they can be a little bit fiddly. But ha -ha, that one showed I'm a liar as it comes so quick. Just got to find the key again now with the P. One second, let's have a look. There we go. Right, so, left, so what are we going to be needing? Yep. 
So we're going to be needing a shimmer for this one. I mean, you normally do anyway. With these, but. And the only reason is, is there's a little groove there where the clip goes in and you can definitely drop a pin in there and then you're stuck. There we go, it can be turned into a six pin, which, uh, <coughs> I do apologise, sorry, uh, most of them are, um, wow. Get out that, that need one need picking two just slightly three need even touching four need picking and five yeah three and five right focus there I do apologize three and five basically you breathed on them and they picked they didn't need touching so we've got a very nice serrated oh that's two one decided not to come out there we go Got another nice serrated in three. We've got another nice serrated in four and in five. Another nice serrated. All double serrations. It's only the first pin that is a uh, stock. Obviously, nothing happened. Nothing. The cause gets not a challenge lock and. Let's see what we've got hiding there. Let's remove the shim. We have a spool in one. Well, it's a serrated spool. We've got another spool in two. Wow. We've got another spool in three. got another spool in four and the last one them springs are not very strong in this new stretching you see that they're hardly even pushing through the pins yes I think this wouldn't even better a pick with the uh, Oh, there we go, we've got the pin running off. And last one is a, it's a, a serration. Now, yeah, the springs are all stock, very tiny. They need either slightly stretching, just a little bit. And I think I'm going to definitely change something on this lock. Um, I've never opened an 1100 unless uh, Black Dolphin 90 has already been in there and placed them, but I've never opened... 1100 where it's got four spills in it um, But very nice key pins they always are very nicely machined for uh, commercial pins uh, Very small, but really 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 nicely worked um, Fun lock the American locks Actually not too much uh, tension on them Carl, some can be stiff depending but Minute I'd say 99% of the time very light tension but that one, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to replace, let's have a look, I'm going to replace, um, I'm going to take at least, I'm going to stretch these springs and I'm going to at least remove two of these spools and put in some more serrations to give it some more thingy. So it could be just a waste of all them spools in that really. But um, yeah, I've never seen one where it's mostly all spools. But still a very cool lock. It's definitely got a little bit of oil in it. Everything keeps sticking to my tweezers, but um, yeah, I enjoyed that. That was a another fun one for a stock, and it was fairly tricky as well. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and bye. Don't get to like.